just Mike and myself are pretty good, but this kind of movement, you would need a bunch of pictures in order to figure out how to put that thing back together. I think just Mike could do it a lot easier than I could, because uh, sometimes my pictures suck. But I think he's got two different phones, one to take pictures and one to do his video with. But what I'm getting at is this kind of movement is not for uh, people who are just beginning. It can be done, but you have to take a lot of pictures and do video as you're taking it apart so you can watch your video and look at your pictures in order to put it back together. By the way, this is the, the clock that it goes in. That's why I love coming up to see my friend Ron. He has a lot of clocks that... I don't typically deal with. Now this is the gong for a movement I'm fixing to show you and this next movement is definitely not for an amateur. You definitely have to take plenty of pictures. Look at all the levers and stuff that this thing's got going on with it. And look how thick these plates are. I'm fixing to get out a digital caliper and uh, see how thick these things are because this is very thick the one I showed you out in the uh, garage was a Gustav Becker this one I'm gonna have to look up the information it's just made in Germany and there's uh, an AM um, symbol on it but these plates are three point six four millimeters thick extremely thick antique movement this Gustav Becker um, regulator wall clock was doing okay at the uh, strike at the lower numbers but when you get above ten it would sit there and just keep striking until the weight went all the way to the floor after checking it out there's a couple of things wrong with it the gathering cam with gathering pen they're typically pressed on on like a cuckoo clock or something like that but this one is pushed on and then there's a hole that you put a tapered pen in that way the cam won't come off and that was one of the issues but the gathering pen itself was not long enough fortunately he had another movement exactly like this movement except for it's a little bit older and um the uh, I want to say that this is a P47 Gustav Becker movement, but the um, I took the gathering cam off the other movement that has a gathering pen and put on this one. What, what's that, Ron? That P27. P27 is the movement, but um, <laughs> but anyway, and yeah, we are he's looking for one because he needs parts for the uh, for that one. Uh, that we took parts off of because it's also missing this piece up here that stops the rack from dropping as the gathering cam is lifting the rack but it's a really cool clock i love the pendulum on it beveled glass it's an older clock again gustav becker but this is that gustav becker movement and like i said it's missing the piece right here that stops the rack to prevent it from dropping as the gathering cam does this thing and here's what the movement looks on the back side the pendulum leader or the, the crutch here the pendulum actually stays on the clock and this post right here fits into a hole on the pendulum but as you can see gustav becker and there's the serial number this is 580787 where the other movement is a 581 movement sorry this is 580784 where the other one is a 581 movement, meaning it's a later production movement. But if anybody has parts for this clock, my buddy is looking for this piece right here. And again, it has to be a T27, sorry, P27 movement is what that says. I'm giving this box of tools to uh, one of our associates friends who um, my buddy ron has been helping out and repairing clocks 
giving him clocks and he's been doing a really good job but he doesn't have a lot of tools i loop similar to a leatherman a bunch of screwdrivers and this rodico right here i bought after i got back from the states back in 2000 24 years later and it still works and they don't come packaged in containers there's a piece right here it still works you could use it it still works and it's been sitting in this box for 24 years so uh at my buddy's house and his friend and a group member robert pronounce your last name amundsen amundsen shows up so but uh, ron has been got robert underneath his wing showing him how to repair clocks and um robert has been taking a lot of clocks home take them apart um cleaning them putting them back together and he's doing a great job and he helps out ron a lot you know i discussed this in the past that ron shakes a lot because he's nervous around me <laughs> but uh robert helps him out um, when he can um helping him out uh, uh get clocks going and Ron and I would be video chatting, and he calls me Robert all the time. I don't see the difference. I, you know, Robert doesn't look like Mark, and Robert tells me that he does the same thing to him. So uh, he says the reason why he does that is because he believes that both Robert and I can diagnose things and figure things out. But Robert, Side note: uh, one of my uh, group members and friend was—he's uh, just now getting into repairing clocks, and he was asking me about an anvil do i look do i need an anvil and i'm thinking because i used to shoe horses for a living a great big 80 pound anvil that i used to shape the shoes on not this kind of anvil the kind that fits in your hand yeah you could use an anvil like this but or a piece of metal like this we used to use these in school all the time or my buddy's got this piece of metal but yeah an anvil like this for working on clocks would be great but not an 80 pound anvil it was just a um, uh, I, I I miss I took his question wrong. He didn't uh, he didn't really say the size of anvil he was thinking about getting. I just assumed it was a great big anvil like I used to use for shoeing horses. This is my buddy's great big cuckoo clock. It has a regular 72 movement in there. And ever since my buddy's had this clock, he hasn't been able to keep it running. And I told him you know, it's got a regular 72 movement in it. It takes 1,700 gram weights or 1,750 gram weights, So, which he don't have. But he finally uh, took my advice and added some uh, 250 gram weights to the 1,500 gram weights. And it's been running all night. Um, they, The regular 72 movements, as you all know, I think are a pain in the butt. Two different types but this one has got that that cam on the back i know because last time i was here i took pictures of him he took this clock off the wall and we took pictures of him holding this clock but it's a huge clock but now he knows when he can afford it to buy some bigger weights for his clock and it'll run all the time i worked on quite a few clocks for my friend in the one full day that we worked on clocks I got this one going for him. I see that he needs to move it over some because you can see that the arbor shaft is uh, touching the uh, dial. But uh, the strike, it was only striked at one time. And that's because the rack, the hole that goes onto the post was dirty. Once I cleaned it up with a toothpick, it drops like it's supposed to. I worked on this uh, GK Cuckoo Clock going. Uh, we got that going for him. I did a function test. He's uh, letting the uh, bellows dry. We uh, didn't work on, but I told him what to do on this clock. Added weights. It's been running for 24 hours now. I worked on this uh, Thomas number two clock for him. I worked on that clock over there for him. This bare novelty clock, and of course that uh, other novelty clock with the with the um, owl. I got his uh, Daniker grandmother clock. It was out of beat, so that's ticking again. There's and we got this clock here taken away for him. So we did quite a bit, and the Lord blessed us in the time frame I was here. But my back is killing me, and tomorrow's going to be even worse. So it's time for me to head to the house.
afternoon. I'd be praying for my friend. I hope y'all do too. Um, he's got tornadoes coming toward him. There, so y'all be careful. May God bless each and every one of them. Northwest the people in this area. 6039 Junction. I need you to be praying for my friend. I hope y'all do too. Um, he's got tornadoes coming toward him. So y'all be careful. Each and every one of them. May God bless each and every one of them.